Thank you for tuning in to WPRP. I'm Jackson Trout. And I'm Elijah Smith. JCPS has updated its school choice assignments. Here's Brittany DeVore with the details. For the first time in 40 years, JCPS has created a new student assignment plan. This plan will give students and families the option of sending their students to schools closer to home or they can send them further in Jefferson County. This plan will also keep students closer throughout their K-12 school careers. You know, we are asking our schools to increase student belonging while at the same time really starting the schools and the students that go there oftentimes in a school they don't want to be in or they haven't chosen. We have to change that. We have to make sure students feel a sense of belonging and outcomes will change as a result of this. For WPRP, I'm Brittany DeVore. The National Art Honor Society is painting a mural here at PRP to celebrate some of our clubs. Reporter Paige France talked to some of the people who worked on the mural. Hey PRP, here we have a blank wall that is going to be painted by a fellow PRP student. It is going to be the NAHS mural. This mural is going to recognize the art department we have at PRP and showcase the talented artworks our students are going to put out. Today we are going to try to get more information on this mural and how it came about. Can y'all introduce yourselves and say what position you are in? My name is Benedict Dela Cruz and I am NHS's uh, secretary. I'm Paxton Barter and I am the media director in NHS. So who came up with the idea to paint the mural? Uh, it was uh, a collective uh, with our president and vice president, but it's mostly from our vice president who is uh, behind the camera, but we don't talk about it. Okay, what was the process like in order to get this mural approved by the school? This took a long time. We needed to get some information on who we needed to talk to, and we, uh, from who we talked to, we talked to uh, uh, the principal and stuff, and also uh, uh, Mr. Stenson about it. But uh, there was some uh, errors with it, with locations and who owns what, and and also trying to figure out what type of paint we need and, and such as that. Okay. How did you guys come up with the design for the mural? I used some clubs and separate, separated them and put them inside of each letter of PRP High School. And we digitized it so it was much more cleaner with the lines and the details and all that. Okay, last question. How do you guys determine which images to put into each letter? Uh, like I said, the academies and the clubs, like, they're separated. So in one letter, it's like for sports, like baseball or football, and it goes in that letter. And then other clubs would be separated and put into each other letter. Chase Willoughby brings you another edition of What is PRP Listening To? What's your name? I'm Luke Harrison. And what are you listening to? I'm listening to Pride by Kendrick Lamar. What's your name? My name's Joseph Pickle. And what are you listening to? 33rd Black Class by City Moore. What's your name? I'm Don. And what are you listening to? Uh, Vamp Anthem by Playboy Cardi. Seniors have a lot to look forward to in the coming weeks. Damon Forsyth describes the upcoming senior festivities. Hey, senior class. It's that time of the year again where senior activities are coming up. We talked to senior class sponsor Ms. Hill about these events popping up. 
Hi, I'm Mrs. Hill, and these are some of the senior events that are going to be taking place soon. Um, we'll have a senior meeting next Tuesday, and you'll get a calendar of all of the events, but um, prom's coming up. That's going to be on April the 30th, so we're about a week away, and that's going to be at the Olmstead from 8 to midnight. Make sure you bring your ID for you and your date. Um, and then uh, graduation is going to be on May 27th at Freedom Hall, and that's going to be at noon. We'll have practice the day before, and that whole last week of school, we're going to have some fun senior activities. So we're going to have class day and class day practice. You're going to have your senior walk and your senior breakfast, and you're going to have an entire day to sign your books and um, pick up your caps and gowns. And then on May 13th, we're going to have a senior field trip and we're going to be going to main event. So it's going to be from 9 to 1 and all seniors are invited to go. Um, everything's going to be open, all of the different um, activities there and we'll actually um, be giving you food and a game card. So. For WPRP, I'm Demo Forsyth. Hello PRP, welcome to the Panther Pit. First, let us give us a little history about the Panther Pit. The Panther Pit was started in 2017 as a capstone class for the Business Academy. The first class of students voted on the name and the design of the store. If you're in the Business Academy and you strive to be the best, you could too be a Panther Pit employee. This is our new crew neck sweatshirt that can be purchased for the low price of $15.50. And the new black zip up hoodies are $30.50. And the new black paw print sweatpants are $28.50. We now carry scrunchies that are $5.50. <laughs> Coming soon are face masks and lanyards. Come by and see us at every school day except Tuesdays during all three lunches and follow us on social media at Ridge Panther Pit on Instagram, at PRP Campus Store on Twitter for updates and new merchandise. Unfortunately, COVID-19 disrupted many activities in previous years, but this year's juniors were lucky enough to experience their ring ceremony and dance. This is Ikea Scott with the details. April 22nd, Pledge Ridge Park hosted a ring ceremony for the juniors from 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. Ms. Duff, the principal, started off the ceremony thanking the staff and organizing the ceremony. She also thanked the parents. She gave the juniors a little speech about how they should come back and be their best to be the class of 2023. The women and men's choir sang together. The juniors received their gorgeous rings and later participated, participated in ring dance at the Art Center. Nonetheless, you still have to finish this journey. As we turn the corner into May, and the end of the school year is in sight, I challenge you to stay focused and engaged. Finish the school year strong. Come back in August, ready to be the best senior class ever. The band has recently performed for KMEA. Chase Willoughby sat down with Miss B to discuss the band's preparations. Coming up, I was able to interview the band director here at PRP to see everything that goes into preparing for greater performance. My name is Debbie Burnell Wise, and I am the director of bands at Pleasure Ridge Park High School. 
The preparation process starts when I uh, select music for the band. Um, the music has to be something that they're going to learn a lot from. It has to be something that is going to be achievable by the date we go to assessment because the music has to be played at a very high level in order to uh, get to a distinguished rating. So I select the music and then uh, we start the rehearsal process and my process starts by going through uh, the music and highlighting and writing things so every day when we have a lesson uh, we basically take the music and uh, put it in little parts and we'll work on those little sections and highlight the parts to the students that they need to work on uh, practice assignments, they write things in their music, and every day we go back and try to make it a little better. Um, to get a distinguished rating, it almost has to be a performance with no flaws or maybe two or three flaws. So, uh, and we've been distinguished almost every year that I've been here. So, it's a tedious process, but you learn a lot in the process, and uh, I think we're going to do really well. PRP Band managed to walk away with the Distinguished, a huge accomplishment for the PRP Band. This is Chase Willoughby signing off. PRP's theater program kicked off performances in Greece last week. Let's head stage right as we talk about our school's Greece performances. First I went to the actors. Who are they? they uh, who, who do they play? And what grade they're in? Uh, my name is Ram Samples. I am a senior in 12th grade. And I play Rizzo, uh, one of the leads in the show. <laughs> Hello, my name is Scott Forsh, and I'm a junior in high school. Oh, I am uh, Danny in the upcoming musical Grease. It'll probably be done by the time this airs, but it's you should go see it if it airs before. <laughs> All right, my name is Connor. I am a junior at PRP, and I play the role of Kaniki. I also run a podcast. Kaylee, <laughs> I asked, what's their experience working on Grease? It has been tough and so stressful uh, between my memorization. Uh, I'm currently working with an injury, so doing an entire show on, on a hurt leg has been not fun, but it's also been a fun time playing around with all of my friends and stuff in the show. Oh, the experience has been really, really fun. Um, it's definitely taken me outside of my comfort zone as far as theater is concerned. Um, we, I have to sing high notes, I have to sing, dance, and do everything at the same time, and I'm playing a character that I don't necessarily know all the ins and outs of but the second I see it, and I kind of have to, like, free ball it a little bit, uh, and, like, uh, like, go on the fly and kind of, like, kinda, I'd come with my own thing for this character, because this is, you know, it's different, it's definitely different. Uh, the experience has basically been learning a whole bunch, especially when it comes to music and lines, because lines are something, it's a whole separate beast to learn, but music is a whole other beast to learn, so mashing them together, it's given good experience on learning two things at once. Finally, I ask, what's your favorite part about musical theater? My favorite part about musical theater? Uh, definitely the people you meet. Uh, we, you become a family. You become a family here during like shows and stuff, and it is always an emotional time during the shows, uh, especially when they end, and it's like, uh, since I'm a senior, it's going to be my last show that I do, especially with the PRP theater, and I already know that I'm going to cry my eyes out at some point. One of my favorite parts is pretty much the whole thing, the whole process, and getting everything done. Like I like at the end of the show when everyone has everything memorized and everything just flows smoothly. Like. Everyone knows exactly where this was. It's like a well-oiled machine, and I, I think that's like probably one of my favorite parts about it. But the whole, the whole process, like the working on it, the practicing, the learning the music, the, the learning this, this, the blocking, and the learning the dances and the choreography, and all that is all that is really, really fun and helpful, and it's nice. My favorite part about musical theater is the connections you make with people inside the program, whether it be making new friends or just goofing around with people, it's something that I think is important to life, is to meet new people, and that's what you do here in the musical theater program. Grease is our year school performance, right about our talented juniors and seniors in the theater program. At the time of the newscast release, it is the final weekend. Showings were on April 21st, April 24th, April 28th, and April 29th. There is one more weekend of Grease, 
So show up and your favorite pink ladies or keybirds get up and enjoy yourself. Students pay $8 to get in and adults pay $10 to get in. Thank you and that will be y'all. I am Jackson Trout from WPRP. Have a great night. Come see our last performance on May 1st. Thank you for tuning into this episode of WPRP. Have a great weekend.